All right, Noah, here it is, man. An hour and a half. I told you I'd get this done in under an hour. I have failed, my friend. Very no, it's miserably okay. We're having here. fun. We're having fun. <laughs> but we are here. We've made it. It's prediction time. Who wins this game and how do they get it done? What is your final score prediction on Christmas night, brother? Man, it's going to be tough. Um, I think the Niners are a really good football team, but I can't pick against my Baltimore Ravens. I can't pick That's against fair. them. Um, I think Lamar Jackson is capable of just taking over a game. Um, and I think he might have to do that, but I know he's capable. I've seen him do it time in and time out. Um, the Baltimore Ravens on the road this year have the NFL's best record, six and one on the road. Um, on the road, their defense has only allowed 14.4 points per game and 270 yards per game. I have the Baltimore Ravens getting a big Christmas win. Um, 24 to 21. I think this, I don't know, man, you had me thinking a little bit because you were talking about how it could just kind of go off offensively and we could see some <laughs> big plays and stuff. But I also think, man, these are two really good defenses that we could see it maybe a lower scoring affair. So I got the Ravens winning 24 to 21. I like it. I, I got to be honest with you, Noah, coming into the season, you go through the schedule, you make your predictions during the, the preseason, when I was making those predictions, I had the 49ers losing on Christmas night. And I, I remember distinctly saying, it's going to be a sad night for 49er fans. But don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll be in the playoffs. Things will turn around. But Christmas night, I think we're going to be disappointed. I don't believe that right now. And, and a lot of that has to do with the injury to Mitchell. I know he's only one guy, but I really yeah, think that he big loss. brought something dynamic to this offense that it, that it, quite frankly, is going to miss without him. With no Andrews, I think long-term, if Andrews does come back, having likely play will be a, a long-term win. But right now in the moment, it's certainly a loss. Yeah. I think the 49ers find a way to get this one done. They're the home team. They're the hotter team. Uh, and really, what's interesting about this one, Noah, is you've got two teams fighting for the number one seed in their respective conferences. But the way things are playing out, and because they are in opposite conferences... Both of these teams can actually afford to lose because the 49ers, yeah. even if they lose, still have the number one seed. And as long as the Ravens beat the Dolphins next week, if they lose this game, they'll have the number one seed. So yes. both of these teams, this isn't dire, uh, must have it game for either one of them. Um, not that they're not going to try, but that is an interesting dynamic that neither one of them have to have this one. Yeah, that's Two a good top point. Teams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it especially helps that they're not in the same conference, like you said, when it comes down to playoff seating and tiebreakers and everything. Um, I think if anything, man, this is just going to be like a test of pride. Like both yeah. of these teams are looking across from each other and saying, "Oh, like you're the measuring stick in your conference," and then it's like the Spider Man meme, right? <laughs> yeah. And then the yeah. other teams like, "Well, you're the measuring stick in your conference, two number one seeds." Talking about li literally the entire world is watching this on. Christmas night, Monday night football, two number one seeds, all the things that are going into it. And I think it's going to be just a big pride, you know, you know, proven to themselves that they can beat the best team in the opposite conference. So I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a knockout drag out fight, man. It, it's going to be a litmus test for both teams for sure. We're going to yeah. know um, where they both stand. That being said, very similar score to what you had actually, Noah, I'm going 24 to 20. The 49ers okay. get this one done uh, in, a, in a close game. I'm looking so forward to this, man. Noah, dude, awesome, awesome show. Let me get through these final two Super Chats. We'll round it out and uh, finish this thing up. Brother Bob says, yeah, Noah, you're not <laughs> you're not a bitch like the Philly fans are. Uh, or Philly X, chump. All right, all right. Blake says, Greenlaw and Warner are going to feast. Man, I hope so. I hope so. And, and I could see that happening for sure. Everybody in the chat, thank you so much for tapping in. Everybody from Noah's channel, appreciate you. I'm going to say the same thing that I always say. And if it's not in there, I will do it right after. I will put Noah's channel in the description. Whether you are a 49er fan or not, if you are on this channel, we just got an hour and 40 minutes from Noah. Please be respectful. Go sub to his channel. Show him love. He's doing fantastic things over there. And if nothing else... It is to get smarter about a maybe a future opponent in the Super Bowl and 
and talk a little bit of trash and all all fun after the game is over. So go subscribe to his channel. Check him out. I'll put the link in the description as soon as this thing is done, if it's not there already. Noah, you've been fantastic tonight. Couldn't have asked for a better guess. Thank you so much. Good luck to your Ravens on Christmas. Not too much good luck. But thank you so much for joining me, man. I, I really do appreciate you. Pre 